the Macromolecules Innovation Institute was founded in 2004, but its history dates back to the late 70s and early 80s when three powerful centers here at Virginia Tech were working in the area of polymers and composites and adhesives. And then about 1989, the group came together and was awarded the National Science Foundation Science and Technology Center working in the area of polymers. And that really established Virginia Tech as a go-to place for polymer research. And so these, these groups came together and ultimately in 2004 founded the Macromolecules Innovation Institute. The research pillars of the Macromolecules Innovation Institute are really addressing many of the challenges our society faces today. We have groups working in glyco materials with our GlycoMIPS Center in the area of health. In energy efficiency, we have folks working on new polymers for uh, state-of-the-art uh, lithium batteries. And in advanced manufacturing with our Dreams Lab, we have an incredible group working on the uh, new materials for uh, additive manufacturing. I really enjoy working at MII because I get to work with material scientists and chemists to create materials for the next generation additive manufacturing systems. But what we're really trying to do at the end of the day is expand the material selection for these processes and really improve the functionality that they can offer. Together, we've helped expand the materials catalog for additive manufacturing. But then more importantly, we've laid the fundamental understanding and the science required to help others across the industry and academia to expand the materials catalog for additive manufacturing. The transdisciplinary research enabled by MII has really transformed my research and my research lab. So the Macromolecular Science and Engineering graduate program, also known as MACRO, actually began in the early 2000s. We began because there was a need to train students in the area of macromolecular science and engineering. Because we live in a virtual department, we actually allow the students to cut across the traditional silos between the colleges and departments, and they can move effortlessly between those different groups and be able to engage faculty from all those different departments, all those different backgrounds, and truly become interdisciplinary and move their research forward to answer those really tough questions. The macro program is unique in that it affords students the opportunity to work with premier, world-renowned faculty in academia. It also affords them the opportunity to intern in government labs as well as in industry. I think students really look forward to those opportunities and appreciate the depth and the breadth that the program affords. I'm not a traditionally trained polymer chemist, but the day that I joined Virginia Tech, I realized I can use so much resources that's already built at Virginia Tech on the polymer research areas. The primary goal of battery research in, in our research program is to develop batteries that are high energy density, safe, fast charging capability, and also making them low cost and sustainable. We're really working across campus uh, with multiple researchers who do things as disparate as mechanical testing, uh, electron microscopy, nuclear magnetic resonance, imaging and spectroscopy, and being able to combine all these things together really lets us advance our materials much more rapidly and understand the morphology of the polymers and how lithium transport and other things interact with the, the multi-scale structure of the polymers. The Materials Characterization Lab is a state-of-the-art, multi-user shared facility here at Virginia Tech. And it houses about four and a half million dollars worth of equipment that you don't typically find in a regular laboratory, in an individual laboratory. And so as a shared facility, it attracts users from all over campus. And through the generous support of the Office of the Vice President for Research, we're able to both support staff that is working full time in this facility and also maintain the equipment so that there are no user fees or, or any uh, expenses given back to the faculty that are using this. Glycomip's vision is to provide uh, glyco materials to those folks that uh, are material scientists in order to prepare new types of materials that have both carbohydrates as well as polymeric constructs. Glyco materials are macromolecules that are pretty much found everywhere. Everything that you see, taste, and touch probably has a glyco material associated with it. Macromolecular scientists or polymer chemists are good at making synthetic constructs, but what they're lacking is the, 
tools or resources to link carbohydrates to these materials. If we can generate such materials, these would be glycomimetics that could be targeted for specific biomedical or industrial applications. So the glyconeers are automated glycan synthesizers, and essentially what they do is they take individual carbohydrates and link them together in specific fashion so that we provide a structure that's known and a structure that has a certain property that's desired by the scientists that's interested in this glycomaterial. You know, Virginia Tech as a land-grant institution has a culture of serving society. And uh, many of our faculty are engaged in interdisciplinary collaborations, both internally and externally. And so this helps build a culture that, that attracts talent to Virginia Tech. The Macromolecules Innovation Institute uh, is recognized globally uh, as a go-to place for macromolecular science and engineering. And when we bring in junior faculty and students and postdocs into the institute, they come here and they recognize quickly that they need to be the leaders of tomorrow.